So in previous videos, I showed that we were using this AT&T IoT Starter Kit. It's actually a piece of hardware that's publishing the data. It's publishing it into flow here. You can see this, this JSON is actually the data. It's coming in every five seconds. It's coming into M2X, and we're also getting it into PubNub. So once it's in PubNub, you can attach all kinds of other things to it. Let's do Power BI. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. All right, so in the Power BI cloud platform, we're going to add a streaming data set. I already have one here, but I'm going to add one more. So I'm going to do new. It's going to be PubNib. And let's call it, uh, let's just do, yeah. So I need the sub key and the channel name. So I'm going back over here to PubNub. Um, get my key info here. So I need the subscription key. And the channel name, that's where I'm publishing the data. It's actually going to a channel called AT&T PubNub. So I'm going to hit next and hopefully since I'm publishing every five seconds, hopefully it's going to catch it during a publish. There it did. And it sees the data and it automatically builds the tags and stuff for me. So I can just hit create. Did not have to manually define nothing there. So I'm going to open up a new uh, dashboard here and add a tile, custom streaming data. Let's do a uh, gauge. No, let's do this guy. Clustered bar chart. We can add all of these values, I think. So we'll do temp, humidity, Heat index. That one looks pretty good. Let's do temp. There we go. There's a number. And there we go. We've got our live data coming into Power BI. So this must actually be the uh, temperature of the board. I turned on a little fan here and I can see it move a little bit. There we go. Next, I'm going to get this data into free boards.